Hey team, today I'm gonna to show you how to whip up these amazing beef short ribs in the Flaming Coals Offset Smoker. Now as you can see, this rack of beef ribs has three bones, which means after it's smoked and sliced, you'll be left with three beef ribs. Now the first step is to remove some of this top layer of fat. So get yourself a sharp knife and start trimming. So we've given it a quick trim. Next, we're gonna flip it over and have a look at the underside. Now, as you can see here, there is the membrane on the back of the beef rib. Now, if these were pork ribs, I would absolutely take the membrane off. But on beef ribs, I don't tend to bother. It's really hard to take it off and quite time consuming and it doesn't make too much of a difference to the eating anyway. Next, we're going to apply two of my favorite beef rubs, the Flaming Coles Bovine Espresso and the Hardcore Carnival Black. Combined, they will provide the most amazing bark on these beef short ribs. We're going to leave these beef ribs to sit and allow the rub to penetrate, and we're gonna get our charcoal started. Now to get our offset started, I'm gonna be using some Flaming Coals Lump Charcoal, starting off with about a kilo and a half. And today, to speed things up, we're gonna light it using the Flaming Coals Charcoal Starter Wand. Now, if you don't have a charcoal starter wand to light your fire, you can also use a chimney or just some fire lighters. Just keep in mind, they are going to take a little bit longer. Now, to make our life a bit easier today, to both get it up to temperature and also help maintain a stable temperature, we're taking advantage of the Flaming Coals Tent Master Pro. So what we've done is we've attached it to the side of our offset smoker. We've removed the bottom vent and put the adapter plate on. Now you can see we've attached a fan and then the fan attaches to this control box. Now here is where we can set our temperature. So at the moment, you can see that we're currently sitting at 61 degrees Celsius and we can easily toggle up and down to see our target temperature. So our target temperature today is 121 Celsius or 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can also change the reading from both Celsius to Fahrenheit as well. Now, as the pit reaches our target temperature of 121 Celsius, automatically the fan will stop. Then once the temperature starts to dip lower than our target temperature, the fan will kick back in to pump more oxygen through the fire and warming up our pit. So our pit is up to temperature. We got it to 250 Fahrenheit or 121 Celsius. Let's get the meat in. Now the meat's in, I'm going to add some cherry chunks to our charcoal to help give the meat that beautiful smoky flavour. Our beef ribs have been smoking for about one hour, so we're gonna check the smoker, see how they're going, and give it a spritz with some apple juice to keep it nice and moist. The Tent Master Pro has been doing an amazing job at keeping the pit at a regular temperature. Now we haven't topped up with charcoal since we first lit it, so it's about time to add another handful of charcoal in. And of course, it's been about an hour since we've added our cherry chunks, so we're gonna pop one of those in also. Our beef ribs have been smoking at 250 degrees Fahrenheit, or 121 Celsius, for four hours. Let's take a look. They smell divine. The bark is coming along very nicely. Let's probe them, because I think it's time to wrap. There's not much resistance there at all, so we could either choose to leave them unwrapped to finish off the cook, or we could wrap it just to speed it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out, we're gonna wrap it in some butcher's paper for a little bit longer and then pop it back in. I'm wrapping the beef ribs with pink butcher's paper. That will help speed up the cooking process, but also allow it to breathe so we can retain this beautiful bark. Now with pork ribs, I like to douse it with all that naughty stuff like um, honey and brown sugar and butter. So there's a lot of liquid. So in that case, I like to use foil. But because we're not adding any liquids, pink butcher's paper will do the job nicely. Once we've wrapped it nice and tight, it's time to get it back into the offset. Our beef ribs have been cooking in the offset smoker for four hours unwrapped, 
and another three and a half hours wrapped. But let's probe them to check the resistance and also the internal temperature. Wow, look at that. Okay, so that's probing like absolute butter. There's no resistance there at all. And our internal temperature is somewhere between 195 to 202 Fahrenheit. Let's get them out and have them resting. After smelling these beef short ribs smoking away for the last eight hours or so, I am absolutely ready to dig in. If you like a little bit of sauce on the side, I'd highly recommend the Cosmos Q competition barbecue sauce. It's time to slice them up. Oh, look at that. Absolutely delicious. Look how juicy and tender these beef ribs look. And the bark, my goodness, amazing. There's only one thing left to do. This might get messy. Mmm, real good. <laughs> 